Red Dead Redemption 2 is not far away. We're getting new information nearly every day about the single player, but what do we know about online? This video will show you everything to do with Red Dead Redemption 2 online. Rockstar have announced that Red Dead Redemption 2 online will be coming this November a month after the full release of single player. It's annoying that we can't play online as soon as the game comes out, but there are a couple reasons for this. Firstly, the online world is based after the story of Red Dead Redemption, so obviously Rockstar want people to complete the game or at least get an idea of what the world is before playing online. What I've been doing is looking at Red Dead Redemption single player as a massive tutorial for online. Secondly, I can 100% guarantee you that there will be bugs in the game on launch, by releasing the mode separately, Rockstar can focus on one at a time. And thirdly, Rockstar sees Red Dead Redemption 2 single player and online as a game that shares the same geography and mechanics but evolve differently. What they're pretty much saying is that they see it as two separate games. The map that you travel in with Arthur Morgan in single player is the same map you travel in with your online character. When it comes to the online narrative in Red Dead Redemption 2, I can see them taking a similar approach to the GTA 5 heist. Rockstar have said before that they didn't find their feet until heist came out in GTA Online. This made a narrative alongside the co-op gameplay. With that in mind, I can see Red Dead Online having a similar template to GTA by adding heists like train or bank robberies. Obviously, Rockstar won't take everything they had in GTA and bring it to Red Dead Redemption. Vehicles and weapons will definitely be limited. You might be able to customize carriages, but will you really be able to customize carriages as much as you can customize a car in GTA? I really don't know. There has been talk of a couple modes being added to Red Dead Online. The first and probably the biggest thing is Battle Royale. For me, I would love this. I love Battle Royale games and I love Red Dead Redemption. So my head is perfect for someone like me. How the game mode will work, how many players, what would act as the shrinking zone, I don't know but the Wild West and Battle Royale can only be a good thing in my head. Another two game modes that have been rumoured is Revive and Survive and Money Grab. Revive and Survive is pretty much a team deathmatch. There will be two teams battling out and you have a limited amount of time to revive your teammates before they are eliminated. Money Grab is two teams against each other battling out whilst they try to grab a bag of money and take it back to their base. When it comes to free roaming in Red Dead Redemption 2, I'm hoping there will be a lot of things to do compared to GTA. With GTA, I found that I didn't have time to look around the map. It was so easy to get in a car or plane and travel from one side of the map to the other in minutes. With Red Dead Redemption 2, I can see that being a lot harder. The map is massive and you'll be on horseback for most of the time. So there needs to be something that you can do to keep yourself busy whilst free roaming. The apartment system from GTA Online will return, but instead of apartments, players will have tents which they can upgrade. These tents can be purchased in the open world and come in a variety of different themes. These tents can be upgraded like I said, but we're still not sure of what extent they could be upgraded to. I'm hoping the tents could be upgraded to say cabins, and then maybe you can add some stables, which you can then store horses. Online play will include access to a number of shops and NPCs, which can provide you with equipment and missions. NPCs in Red Dead Redemption Online are far more in-depth compared to GTA. NPCs in the morning will decorate their storefronts, and when it starts to get late, they will then bring those decorations back inside, making the Red Dead Redemption world more immersive. Gold mining, fishing, herding and assortment of weapon challenges are a few of the activities you can participate in when free roaming. There are also frequent rewards that will be handed out to players for completing certain tasks. These might range from travelling a certain distance to murdering an enemy using a bow from 100 meters away. If you are someone who likes creating custom maps, well good news because a bunch of the Red Dead Redemption online symbols were found. In these symbols, there is a verified and created symbol which is very similar to the GTA map or playlist that were created. There is also a symbol that looks like three gold bricks stacked up on each other. This is what is believed to be microtransactions, which is replacing the shark cards we know from GTA. The rest of these symbols, in my opinion, are just different symbols to brand Red Dead Redemption Online. I can't link those symbols to any sort of specific game modes. That is pretty much everything you need to know about Red Dead Redemption Online. If after all this you're still hoping for some more content then I should point out the ultimate edition for Red Dead Redemption 2. With that you get the full game, single player DLC and also online DLC. 
The online DLC gives you bonus outfits, rank bonuses, black chestnut thoroughbred horse, and access to additional weapons. On top of that, if you haven't already, you can claim two items on GTA 5, the double action revolver, and the stone hatchet. By getting these on GTA, you unlock them for your Red Dead Redemption account, as well as still have them on your GTA account. Finally, when the online for Red Dead Redemption is released, a companion app is supposed to be released at the same time, giving you access to poker minigames. I assume anything you win on the companion app goes across to your online character. Would be cool if there were other minigames as well, but so far it's just been rumoured as poker. Anyway, that is everything you need to know about Red Dead Redemption Online so far. Only time will tell if we get to see all the different stuff I talked about in this video. Honestly, cannot wait to get my hands on this game. It looks so good. To end this video, I would like to ask you guys a question. What would you like to see in Red Dead Redemption Online? Personally, I keep thinking about train robberies, but more than anything, I would love to see some zombies from Undead Nightmare. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.